This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good morning everyone. Shalom Aleichem, Bruchem Abom. We're continuing Mishnah Bro Daf HaShavua. Today, we learn Simenon. Simenon. Tam Lama Oimer Mishnas Ezel Mekayman. We begin Simenon. Tam Lama Oimer Mishnas Ezel Mekayman. Why do we say the parak of Ezel Mekayman? What's it doing there? Says the Mechaber, Kavu Lishna is Acha Parshas Tamed Perk Ezel Mekayman, Ubrai says Rabbi Shmuel. There are Koivea to learn. It doesn't say to say. If you're rattling it off like you're saying to Hillem, then uh, you can think of better ways to make use of your time. It's learning. It's not davening. It's learning. Now, by the way, if you learn some, if you learn Mishnah, and you don't even know the translation of the words, meaning you're not even aware of the translation of the time, then, then nothing has been accomplished. L'chairah, you probably get exercise. You probably burn... I don't think you burn that many calories by you know, mumbling the words. You might as well do uh, sit-ups. But you don't get credit for learning if you don't understand the meaning. There's no Indian of saying the words, Ezel Makayman. They were koiveya to learn it. The, the parak of Ezel Makayman and the Bryce Rabbi Shema, Kedei Sheyizka Kol Adam Lomay B'chol Yom. So that person could be Zoycha to learn every day. Mikra, Mishnah, U Gemara. So you say, what's the Gemara? The Bryce Rabbi Shema have a Makam Gemara. Shehamedrush Vagamara. The Medrash is Kagemara. The Medrash is like Gemara. Now it's interesting. If the whole reason why there are Koivea Ezo Makaiman is to get Mishnah, but we already say a Mishnah. Elu Tvarim She'en Lehem Shior. Hapea Vabikum Rain Was Chasadim Asal Matayra. The answer is that's not, that was a later addition. That's not Meikara. Prime more more fundamental is Ezehu Makayman. But a very important Yisoyed is that the Indian of Ezehu Makayman is Limud and not saying. By the way, they once asked Rav Nassim Adler when he was a little boy, the first mission is Ezehu Makayman, Ezehu Makam Shalzvachim. Um... We have Parvasar Shal Yom Hakipurim, and then you have Kachay Kadashim in the next Mishnah. And basically, all the procedure is exactly the same. So they asked him, Nasan Adler, as a young boy, why does Mishnah Aleph and Mishnah Brez, why are they broken up into two Mishnahs? We should group together the Avoida of Yom Kippur with Kachay Kadashim and uh, save, save space, save real estate. So he said, but there's one detail by the Avod Yom Kippur that's not by regular Kadashim and then Ala Paroiches. There's one little detail. So because of that detail, it deserves its own Mishnah. I believe the uh, Chida brings this down that, uh, that they asked from Nasan Adler. Okay, anyway, um, says the Mishnah Bura, Yesh Makam She'en Oymrim Ezo Makam Bebeis HaAvel Mnesha Asr B'Tal Matayra Some places they don't say Ezo Makayman in the house of an Avel because it's Asr and Tal Matayra Ve'in Zenachayin Shakoil Shahu say there am anything that's part of the regular order. They ain't by Mishum Tamatira La Avel. It does not have a din of Tamatira for an Avel, Kamaisha Nipsak, but Sivan Tafkov non Dalit Siv Dalit. What about an Avel himself? So Dirsha brings that even though the Mishnah said earlier in Siman Aleph Siv Katan Yodzan, then Avel should not say Karbanos. Rav Chaim Kinevsky says that there's a chiluk. The parsha Tom parsha is a common is Miseder Hatfila. Shar parshiyos Hakarbanos are not Miseder Hatfila. Okay, Shahamedrish Kigamara. Now, why? So why didn't they pick a Gemara? I mean, wouldn't it be nice if they chose like Chardel or uh, you know Svek Sveka? Imagine, Amr Rebbe Lazar, Hatoyin, Pesach Basuch, Matzasi, Lama Neman, Svek Svekahu, Savik Tachdov, Savik Ein Tachdim, you know, why don't we daf testing Subis? Why do they dafka pick this Brisa? Mibnei Shit Chilas Taras Kayanim. Because it's beginning of Taras Kayanim, the Sifra, Shuroish, the Chol Parshas of Karbanois, which is the beginning of all the Parshas of Karbanois, Kavu Eitzel HaKarbanois. That's why they picked 
Bryce Sazu refers to the uh, Rabbi Shmuel Aimer. The Chain Bacharu be Mishnas Ezom Akaiman. They also chose Mishnas Ezom Kaman Kavu Achar Hatamid. Mishum Shenemar. And in any place that is offered to my name. Are you allowed to be Makter Karbanis anywhere? Anywhere? These are the Torah scholars that are engaged in the halachas of the Avoida every day, wherever they are. So, in other words, First we say the Tamid, and then we say Ezehu Makayman. Because Tamid Chachamim that are Oisik and Helchas Avoida, it's also like being Makar Vakarban. So by learning about the Karbanos, it's like being Makar Vakarban. Also, V'oid Mimnei Sheperk Ze'in Boi Machloikas. There is no Machloikas about this parak. V'hu Mishnah Verura L'Mayisha Misinai. It is a clear Mishnah from Moshe to Sinai. Okay, this is not the time... But this is one of the Mekairos that the uh, that the Etzem text of the Mishnah Moshe Rabbeinu already came down with from Sinai. Rebbe merely whittled it down to the 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 the, the, the bread and the butter. Vein kriyas parakza brayses u'olimad mishnah v'tamad elamisha maven. Ria, reading Ezel Mekayman and Rebbe Shmuel. Only works if you understand it. By the way, you ready for this chiddush? If it's not considered learning, then what is it considered? It's considered bittul taira. What are you doing? You're not doing anything. Maybe uh, unless you have kavana that I'm saying I don't know what I'm talking about, but at least I'm not speaking lashon hara at this time. Where I'm not arguing with the guy next to me. The dafka betfila af shein oy meven akosh bogi dey kavanasa. By tefila we say if you don't know what you're talking about, God knows what you mean. Av lemoy mer mishnah brayse ve'ino meven einoy nikra limud. So if you if you're by the way just rattling off ezel makayim and, and you don't even have time to think about it, don't say it. Don't well, you're not doing anything. By the way. The Chida is a very interesting Shaila. What if you know the translation of the words, but you don't really know what the Mishnah means? You don't really know what the Mishnah means, but you could translate every word. Ye Shoimrim, it's something. Ye Shoimrim, it's something. But if you're not even thinking about it, then uh, it's, not a, it's not a worthwhile pursuit. Now, especially Ami Ha'aretz have to understand what they're, meaning, what they're saying. Because for them, it's their learning of the day. Bishlam Atam and Chacham. All right. So he's, he's uh, taking a rest for a few minutes. He's, he's saying a, an ancient incantation that has no value. But at least he'll learn later. But the Amaharetz, this is his learning of the day. By the way, the Kafa Chaim asks, what do you mean you have to learn Mikra Mishnah every day? But Talmud Bavli is Bala Menachol. So says the Kafa Chaim, not this Talmud, not this Gemara, because there's no Mikra and Mishnah in this Brice of Rabbi Shmuel. Okay, anyway. Over fr- um, the Shla says, whenever you say Ezel Makayman or Bamem Adlikin, you should use the ancient melody of Mishnah. I once saw in the Sefer Tuvcha Yabiu from Rab Zilberstein that Rabbi Yashiv knew the Nigun of Mishnah. Uh, I don't know if anyone there knows what the nigan is. Please uh, make a recording so you could share with us. But uh, like the Gemara says at the end of Megillah, that anyone who learns Mishnah without nigan, it's, uh, it's, there's a lacking in the learning. Okay, so this is the reason for Ezel Makayman. It seems like it's a kavios. Um, but again, the Iker is the Pasha Satamid. Okay, Sai, have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we begin Hilchas Psukeh de Zimra. 
Kal Tov. Sure. Got it off the Russian. Got it off the Russian. Say as a Mekayman, this we have Mitra, Mishnah, and Gemara. Yes. Why doesn't he say you have to know what you're saying when you're doing the Mitra? Ah, because when it comes to Mikra... You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.